don't be afraid to add something to the bedroom and mm, know that good, know that just because you're adding it it doesn't mean that you're inadequate i'm raven and i'm Amad. and, and we're, we're the, the hoods, hoods. Bling oh, you got it good job, Bling Bling good job. <laughs> Bling <laughs> welcome to hood tales where we take you through the ups downs and married grounds of millennial marriage today we're talking about sex sex is <laughs> all of the sex and at the beginning of our marriage married sex wasn't lit i need to clarify married sex was definitely lit but there were some um, outside external factors <laughs> um, that just really weren't working for me. Like really for her. For me? So for me. Okay. Um, but yeah, just to clear that up, you know, I mean. We'll be able also, to I really, I ain't, I ain't, I, hello? I ain't really got to clear it up. We know what we be having. Okay. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I say that to say. Um, Let's start at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. We was having the sexes oh. before we got married. We That's were. our business. We Amen. Were. It was blessed. Blessed. Um, and as you can see, we're still happily married. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so sex before we got married was fine. Uh, great, you know. Um, the problem arose. We got back from our anniversary. From our, from our anniversary. We got back from our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And I started birth control immediately. 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 Okay. Um, which is also funny because I was never on birth control before we got married. But that's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. Like the day after we got back, I my birth control had already made it and had been shipped here when we were gone. Um, so I was on birth control for the first year of our marriage. Yeah. I feel like it was more than that. Like a year, three, three months, year, three months. Sure. At least the first full year. Yeah, I don't sure. remember when I stopped. But definitely the first full year. Um, and it was a living hell. Horrible. Um, I put on heavy weight, uh, and every bit of libido was gone. Like there was no, no sort of like natural inclination. Nothing. For myself, it took forever for me to have my mind matched my body so there was some cognitive dissonance going on um and it was the worst it's the total worst but you know it wasn't the worst i had no fear of getting pregnant but i also had no desire to have sex to get pregnant then i stopped birth control and now everything is back right with the world bang 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 pops <laughs> My love go bang, bang, bang. I'm through. Rest in peace, John with a smile. Love, love, love. I cannot believe you did. My mama go watch this. That's wild. Anywho. I mean, you can take it out and you can leave it in. Either way. Hey, you talking about sex. Take it out and leave it in. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> that like sex was trash trash while we were uh doing that first year because it was not okay no. the sex was still being had the sex was still enjoyable but there was something missing and from what we both could tell from before i was on birth control to when i was on it um and quite literally once i quit everything went back to normal yeah um now there's a fear of getting pregnant, but everything went back to normal after that. Um, <laughs> so, um, I say that to say, um, if you feel like there's like some sort of disconnect sexually and somebody um, is on birth control, it's probably the birth control. Yeah. Um, and that's not me advocating for you to stop it. No, not either. at all. Um, because do what works for you. truly do what works for you, okay? Um, but what I will say also in that is, um, don't be afraid to ask stuff to the bedroom. Not at all. Um, whether that be 
if the sex is, ain't legal or if it is legal, okay? Um, the marriage bed is undefiled. Undefiled. <laughs> A man likes the marriage bed and wherever which you decide that the bed is, it's undefiled. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. Oh, yes, I was saying don't be afraid to add stuff to the bedroom. Um, I know that church people really be, sex is like the this weird forbidden thing in it's, in the Christian is. community, especially even in marriage couples, like when I mean, we like married um Christians. Married Christians, but like marriage like, you know, Sunday school stuff, marriage like outing stuff, like it's real like not yeah. talked about. And it's very weird because How you Christians is some in church with some of the freakiest Come on now. people I've ever met in my life. Rabbits. Okay. Okay. Y'all be having Irish twins. Ghetto twins. Every year. Every, yes. Well, Ghetto Twins is, says that they were different people. Right, but that mean they if you're having sex with more than one person. I wasn't even going that far. But I still, was just saying like having the babies back to back. That's what I oh, was saying. Oh, for sure. I, yeah, totally. I wasn't talking about Ghetto I know, Twins. But, I wasn't yeah. putting that on the people. So. Yeah, yeah. That happens too, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I was saying that to say that like, um, it's like this forbidden thing, right? You can't talk about it, but then you're supposed to just be automatically having it and doing it and enjoying it well. I was gonna say, doing it well. Hello? And that ain't the case. Not not most of the time for no. people. No, not to talk. Um, but let's backtrack a little bit. How was, how did you deal with the differences of um, our sex life with breath control? Um. Uh. So for me, um, I don't like rejection. And you being on birth control and not having the desire. So whenever I would make my move, it wasn't, there wasn't any reciprocation or um, anything there to let me know that, hey, this is okay. Mm -hmm. You know, or hey, this is this is wanted. You know, it, there was none of that. It was just like a. I felt like a robot. You know, and I and I understood <laughs> that. You know, so um, after a couple times of that feeling, you know, of like me feeling like I was rejected, even though I knew I wasn't, but like after a few times of that, I was just like, okay, I stepped back, and so <laughs> mm -hmm. I allowed you to make the move. Mm -hmm. So that way, for one, I already feel wanted. Mm -hmm. For two, if it's had if it's been a period of time, I definitely want the same. <laughs> so like, it's our it's plans are set in motion. The, the wheels are spinning. Yeah. What did he say? When he gave me that look, then the pennies coming off, off. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. Yeah, it was trash. That is literally the basis. Of How did you deal with it though? It was trash. No, I mean, I understand, like, but like, even in the moments where, like, where, where the I moments complain. in which you, no, 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 I'm saying like the moments in which you uh, could feel, when your head, when your mind and your body were lining up, um, was that a quick moment? You know, was it fleeting? Like, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, did the, the, did the desire stay long? I think it depended upon where I was at within the uh, cycle, mm. um, which is now normal anyway, right? right? But like being, cause that was my first time ever being on birth control either was when we got married. Right. Um, um, and it served its purpose, but also it was trash. Um, and I complained and cried about it for a very long time <laughs> because I hated it. I hate, I wanted my body back so bad like I, mean, I hate when you were it. ready to come up off of it you said this is what I'm doing yeah I mean it was a conversation for sure yeah, you know sure. cause it takes two to tango amen sure. um but also like I could not like my mood swings were trash I hated it I didn't have any like depression or anything with it but my god I hated it yeah um back to the creatures I'm jumping around here but that's cause what my brain is doing um <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to add things to the bedroom. Um, I shared back in February when I was doing the 14 Days of Love series uh, some of my favorite 
um, sexologists and sex therapists and um, sex resources. Um, my number one favorite would be Miss Goody Howard. Love um, <laughs> Her at is at, is it Ask Goody? Yeah, it is. I think it's Ask Goody, but I'm gonna type it and put it in there. Uh -huh. um, Goody, Goody Howard. That Goody Howard. Love Listen, me some Goody Howard. Love me some Goody Howard. Um, also, uh, sexologist Shamira. She is the absolute um, best. She is the intimacy queen. Love her. Okay, Ooh. the intimacy queen. Um, who else will be? Anatomy of Marriage. Melanie and Seth Studley. Amazing, amazing. Especially, especially, they have a very, um, they're also Christian based as well, so it's a very dive into Christianity and sex within the confines of marriage and you know all that good stuff um they also have a um an app yeah an app called ultimate intimacy and mm -hmm. they have like so many things um inside of the app that uh, helps with intimacy that will help lead to intimacy in the bedroom so yeah yeah um for sure uh but one of the things I would definitely say is that you know I'm not telling nobody to not be on birth control because pregnancy sounds like evil, torture, and of the devil. So, you know, and people are not just on birth control just to avoid getting pregnant. Um, so, you know, do what you need to do for your body. However, comma, if your birth control is messing with your libido, there are ways to go around that, okay? You know, they make toys, they make lubes, Get you some lingerie, do what you need to do, sis, to get it popping in your head. Mm -hmm. Um, which are things that I, I think the biggest thing I did to try to overcome that was mentally planning it. Mm -hmm. Um, so like, um, if I realized it had been, I don't know, four days, um, uh, I would mentally plan out the fact that we were gonna have sex because when I knew that you weren't gonna. You weren't gonna be expecting it anyway. Mm -hmm. But also like, no, it's gonna happen though. Because what I want to do is command my body to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which is what it became what it, which is what it usually came down to. Like, I don't have time for that. Um, you're not about to be ruining my life. Um Yeah, but Mary Six was not lit. But it also was lit. It's also still very lit. Sex is lit in general. Do you have a hood highlight? <laughs> um, my hood highlight would be for the men. Um, don't be afraid to add something to the bedroom. And mm, know, that, good, know that just because you're adding it, it doesn't mean that you're inadequate. You know, um, that's ain't, very ain't nothing. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with a, a, a toy. You know, that is for, ooh, that's for, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with a toy that is for your wife's pleasure or, or yours, your own. Mm -hmm. you know, um, the same way, you know, you grow in life, you grow in sex, you know, um, yeah. That's really good. Cause I definitely was directing a lot of my advice towards, uh, those who would be on birth control. Mm -hmm. Um, they had so, a birth control for men. Listen, I'm, I heard it's in the works too. Child, the patriarchal society will never allow for birth control for men. I'm gonna tell you, if they put it out, it's fine. I'm a, um, like Skittles. <laughs> um, but there are other non hormonal um, ways to protect yourself from pregnancy if that's your main reason for being on birth control. Um, so, yeah, you know. Take control of your sex life. And if that means stopping birth control, Dude. you know, that could mean what that means for you. Um, so that'll be my hood highlight. Um, I think that's it, guys. Go have sex. Mm -hmm. Bye!